What's popping, collective? You already know who this is, the spiritual assassin, coming to finish up on the messages for the kidnapping series of the three witches that um, are trying to plot your demise in kidnapping. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and step into these messages. How you doing, collective? I hope that you are having a great day. You know I got the tea and I'm going to spill it to you. So without further ado, let's see what these pre-shuffle messages is and then we're going to tap into the deck and see what's popping. And what about this situation? So the when I was shuffling the cards, I got this card that popped out and it says the moon reveals secrets. So the secrets will be revealed today. They are have already been revealed, but we're gonna go ahead and dig even more deeper into these uh <laughs> allegations. Okay, guys. So let's go. I see that you are the star. The star is here, and there's also a crazy bitch that's here. That's in my energy, that's in your energy. You got the keys to the city collective. This other energy could be on mushrooms psycho and psychotic drugs, psychedelic drugs. Something could have happened seven hours ago. Pray without ceasing. Remember, um, time is transfluent. So take it as a resonate. This could be happening in the past, in the future, or in current moment. Okay? Same thing with six hours. Time is fluent. <laughs> so, so take it as it resonates. You are the star headliner. So maybe you're going to go viral in six hours. Hell, I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Could be. I'm going to put this deck together and let's read the rest of the messages. Yeah, there's a court case that's closing out today. <laughs> and you're going to need a blunt after you get this tea. All the magic that they have done to you is returning back to sender. Yes, this divine feminine has returned all <laughs> negative energy Um Black magic back to sender. You saying I wish a bitch would, and it says um, on the next um, on the next the other part of the deck it says dream catchers. If you are having nightmares, get one. They will filter out negative dreams so you can sleep better, and they do help out. I know I got one for myself, and it helps me out. So um, they are very beneficial. So yes, get you a dream catcher. Maybe you're a divine feminine that needs to get one if you're having any kind of nightmares, night terrors, by people sending you black magic or whatnot. But you know you're gonna, uh, you are you are always protected. So, but to block out those dreams, you can get your dream catcher. Is what I'm picking up. Yeah, there's a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy that's here. That is a smelly karmic. You are appointed by the create by the creator. And you are courage. It says, I am courage. So you have the courage and strength to get past any obstacles that you're going through in life. There is an incubus um, demon here, whether it be masculine or feminine. <laughs> um, demons really don't care who they detach onto, attach onto. So remember to take that as a note. Somebody named Lorraine could have an uh, incubus um, demon attached to her or him, her. <laughs> Lorraine is a female. So... Be careful of the people that you have around you, whoever your name is, Lorraine. Okay. Um, with the what's the T deck deck, I have somebody is a sharp has a sharp tongue. It says this person has no filter, saying nasty ish has a tendency to say very critical things about you. So somebody's somebody's somebody in your energy is around that's talking shit pretty much. And this person is having has a poker face it says not showing emotion unable to read revealing no hints of thoughts or feelings so somebody else is in your energy that's not <laughs> what i want to say showing any emotion about what's going on they just letting this person talk shit about you and they acting like they don't know what the hell is going on acting clueless about the situation is what i'm picking up your best friend is in your energy. This person was being nosy and trying to find out information about you. Maybe this best friend betrayed you in some type of way. And if you didn't know, now you know. It says nosy. This person is all up in your business, asking too many questions, wanting to know every single detail. So it's time for you to cut this person off because why are they all up in your business? Maybe they did something to betray you is what I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going through money problems now. And this person who's going through money problems, they are going through karma. And I have the seventh house here. It says this situation involves someone's partnership, marriage, business matters. Could be enemies depending on the situation. So there's something I have to do with some type of marriage, some type of um, 
commitment somebody was in, somebody in their mate is going through uh, money problems, they could possibly smoke a lot, whether it be fe uh, masculine or feminine. So we're going to put these decks together and we're going to see how this story plays out. <laughs> I feel like that you're about to start a new foundation here, that you're starting, starting from the ground collective. I got the squirrel spiritual animal here. So you're setting a foundation here, 225 on the screen when I said that. So let's go ahead and tap into these messages. I think I want to start with the, what's the tea spill first? Yeah, somebody's doing anything for clout. Yes, it says doing, doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone, being fake. And I have 12 house um, energy here. It says hidden truths, secrets, dreams. One has hidden strengths and weaknesses and unconscious and unconscious and karma. So whoever this person that is uh, chasing for clout, they have hidden secrets here. Their secrets, their secrets are about to be exposed and they are receiving karma for the unconscious, unconscious decisions that they have made. There's a grown woman here. This person... <laughs> Yeah, it says not with the childish games, has priority straight, not willing to downgrade your standards. So you you a grown ass woman. And this woman is a this other woman is a moocher. That's in your energy. It says someone who survives off another's income, one who even if they have their own money will use someone else's first. So this and you on your grown woman shit. You ain't worried about this shit. This is a grown woman who acting like this. They need to grow the fuck up. She's copying your style. It says someone likes how you dress, talk, look, etc. so much that they try to act like you. So somebody trying to steal your identity. It's crazy. Then I have seventh house. This situation involves someone's partnership, marriage, business matters. Could be enemies depending on seventh house. So um, the depending on this situation. So someone tried to become a divine feminine. They tried to take your mate from you. They tried to stop your money from flowing in. They, they, this could be a secret that you didn't know about. But you already know the secrets are being revealed now. Yes. Somebody is longing for you. You could be connecting with someone through freak, um through tele telepathic connections. Through telepathy. Yeah, somebody is daydreaming about you. It says someone cannot get you off their mind, attracted to you, constantly thinking of you, being with you romantically. They, they always think about being with you romantically. Yeah, and it says you guys have a strong emotional commitment to uh, to another who is far away and often be beyond physical access most of the time. Yeah, this person is hooked on your energy. Anymore before I switch to decks. Yeah, but we have a heartbreaker here. Someone got their heart broke. Somebody is a heartbreaker. Someone, someone goes around breaking people's hearts just for the fucking fun of it. It says this, a person who can break hearts easily. Everyone wants them, but not everyone can have them. And this person is an ex-lover. So your person did break up with this heartbreaker. Yeah, somebody has receipts about something though. It says receipts. Someone has been keeping tabs, talk, taking notes on you and keeping all the details. So somebody is stalking you <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, this third party energy is doing this. So this karmic female is doing this, stalking you and talking shit about you. Yeah, she's copying everything. She's writing everything down to a T and using it for herself. <laughs> like our second house here, it says everything the person in this situation may own and claim as their money possessions their own self-worth yeah that's not their shit so they're trying to claim everything that they took from you as their own when none of it is theirs <laughs> because they're fake and phony <laughs> yeah this is a fake ass twin flame uh journey right here that your person got himself intertwined with and they are receiving karma for the bullshit that they put you through any more messages yeah, somebody eavesdropping here. It says, a peeping Tom looking over someone's shoulder, listening to your private conversations. And it's this false ass twin flame that's doing this. So that if you still dealing with this karmic ass female, she is still uh, <laughs> looking over your shoulders, listening to the conversations, possibly talking to your friends about what the hell is going on between your twin and 
between y'all two. Maybe she feel like that you guys are getting back together. But yeah, look what that put, pulled over. <laughs> the next card was more than friends because she feel like that you guys are more than friends. You could be telling her that y'all just friends, but she she feel like that y'all are more than friends because they, they, they going through a divorce anyway. Your person is walking away. You in chill mode. You just relaxing, enjoying the moment. You are earth angel. You probably, yeah, you smoke like a motherfucker. You be on that on cloud nine. But you got this goddamn slick ass bitch that talks shit about you. She betrayed you. And she's stalking you. But you're going to be balling soon. This spiritual hater won't, though. You have self love. But this gorgeous female, though. <laughs> Has mental health problems. She stop at no limits what she do. She is hooked on um, toxicity ways, drugs. Your person was in a one-sided love affair with this toxic relationship. Whew, child. And they are receiving karma. Mm. So we pretty much know that the three people that plotted against you, I feel like I already told you guys that it was a masculine and it was two females that you notice in your energy that's plotting on you. If that's not your story, don't take it. But that's most definitely somebody's story. So, y'all be safe out there. For real. Confirmation. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get to some messages. Yeah. You saying, I wish a bitch would. You're going to have a lucky month and lift your head up with pride. Always lift your head up with pride. Smile, baby. Your name could be Smiley. The mass, the matrix have shattered. You have shattered the matrix. Confirmation. <laughs> somebody did, somebody from New Orleans did some witchcraft. You are sick because they use magic on you. So somebody, if you know somebody from New Orleans, they could have did black magic on you. And if you're sick, this is why you're sick. Somebody named Sims here is a voodoo practitioner. This could, could have happened in the fall or will be happening in the near fall. Something about a voodoo practitioner. They are lack and they are lack and are a disgrace of their bloodline. Damn. So they are lack and are a disgrace to their bloodline. So my ancestors say, damn. <laughs> Who, whoever these voodoo, um, voodoo practitioners are. Yeah, this could be a, a Cancer, Pis Pisces, Scorpio energy I'm talking about. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy I'm talking about. I love this spiritual ish. You love this spiritual ish. <laughs> Any more messages? Anything that they've done to you is returned back to sender. We don't argue with birds. You see, <laughs> we don't got time for that. Someone named Crystal. <laughs> Somebody with the initials D, E, and F. You create harmony. Somebody named Brooks here. Create harmony. There's masculine energy here. There's a puppet master. This masculine energy could be a puppet master that likes to pull people's strings. A couple did black a couple did dark magic on you. So there could be a masculine that was dating someone and, and this couple was pulling strings on on you, on your on your person and on you is what I'm picking up. He with the karmic but want to love on the on his divine fam, fam. So there's a masculine that's pulling strings, that's doing black magic with you along with his partner. He's still with this karmic but wants to be with you. Damn. <laughs> Okay. You are a fire goddess, so you can be an Aries Leo Sag who I'm talking to. You put a fork in them, they're done. You have ended that situation. You saying don't run up and get done up. <laughs> don't run up and get done up. You a fucking savage out here. Because you protect it with the unk. <laughs> you got an Egyptian heritage going on here. Yeah, and Jesus walks with you. <laughs> Yeah.
you got a big ego, <laughs> but hell, as long as it's in a positive light, what? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with having a big ego. You got Selena Spirit here. <laughs> Y'all feel like you be turning up on the motherfucking comics <laughs> and they don't like that shit. Turn down for what? Yeah. You can have African Ancestral here. Lineage here. And the Dream Catchers came out. So you can have Native American um, heritage here too. And it says, if you are having nightmares, get one. They will filter out negative dreams so you can sleep better. Yes. And somebody is going through mental health problems. Source has lifted the spells. Somebody is a hoodoo practitioner, and Source has lifted that, that hoodoo um, spell from you. Somebody named Shalandra could have did this to you. Somebody with the initials V, W, X could have done that to you. Remember, J Jesus don't play about you. <laughs> you got the skeleton key. You got the key to the Akashic Records. You know everything. You are, you could be somebody who re um, is into divinity like me. Somebody initials with the PQR. Your verbal attacks are weak. So whoever, and they say your verbal attacks are weak. Whoever these initials are, P, Q, and R, and the initials M, N, and O, they say you are spiritual. You are a spiritual assassin. You came to drag these demons to hell. So whoever you are, M, N, O, welcome to the team. <laughs> I right. And... Somebody is going through money problems. Somebody named Leonard is going through money problems. And this person had dark tendencies on you. Whoever these initials are, A, B, and C. <laughs> it says you're going to need a blunt after you receive this tea. <laughs> Aaliyah Spirit is here with me guiding these messages about someone named D. And you telling D, don't play with me, play with play with the karmic. <laughs> so a masculine uh, name is D here. And you telling him, don't play with me, go play with your karmic. Somebody named Shalitha here. Shalitha Abraham is here. So this message may be for Shalitha Abraham. Okay, so let's continue with the next messages. I can still tell my throat chakra is being tampered with, but it's okay. Because we're about to do a meditation um, session at 311. As soon as I finish here, we're going outside and we're going to meditate. I hope you guys come join me. Um, yeah, let's, let's get some grounding done. So without further ado, let's tap into these messages, what we have so far. So I can get on outside and get one with source. I love you meditating. Brings me back down to reality. Yes. It says you are part of the 144,000. Archangel Michael is, gro is grounding you. Archangel Michael is um, protecting you. Something could have happened five hours ago with a business party, partner. Maybe somebody had a party. Mm. There's a celebrity here. And, these, and the moon reveals secrets. So whatever is done... Under the sun, under the moon, will be revealed. Everything done under the sun, too, <laughs> will be revealed. About this masculine energy. You are the heavyweight champ. There's a smelly mar uh, karmic here. You have found your self-worth. And there's a celebrity here that's in your energy. I was an idiot how I treat, treated you. So whoever this um, fits is you You are in regret how you treated someone. One, recognize each soul. So your person is recognizing your soul. Recon that they now know that you are their twin flame, that you are their soulmate. But they was dealing with an underage boy, girl. This could be somebody who acts, who is a grown person, but acts um, like a chap. Yeah, they. this is currently what's going on now. And yes, you, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, still dealing with this person. <laughs> and your person saying, I'm sorry. This could have happened 10 hours ago. And I get triggered every time you make a post. The karmic, the karmic gets pissed every time you make a post. She gets triggered. But you're appointed by the creator. And you are blessed. All right. So let's get to the next messages. I'm to hurry up so I can get outside. So I got to set up and all that good stuff. So let's go 
ahead and get into these messages so I can get outside. Yes, it says, you are divinely guided. Something can be happening today on a Sunday. You are being divinely guided on a Sunday. <laughs> you are conscious. You are a motivational speaker. And you are this feminine energy. And you're going to be traveling soon. You pray without ceasing. There's a community uh, karmic here. And who, if you're dealing with a community karmic, you need to pray without ceasing to get your way out this bullshit. This I am in someone with Indian ancestral will have financial stability, but there's a drunk bitch and you are the star. <laughs> and this is not of a matter uh, for you. And you, I am not average. I'm a star. That's exactly who you are. The star. You are a truth seeker. If you're anything like me, you go out there and go dig up that knowledge. <laughs> but there's an honorary side chick here. An honorary hoe. Yeah, and you part of the 144,000. <laughs> it's like, my, you know, my, uh, my, ancestors, uh, my ancestors is like, this is how this hoe is, and this is how you is. <laughs> so your ancestors is, is showing the difference between uh, a hoe and uh, a divine feminine, <laughs> a, karmic, a karmic versus a divine feminine. Okay, that's basically what is going on here. It says, I tried to copy you, so the masculine would choose me over you. Karmic shit, period. <laughs> Yes, it's about time. I'm done fucking with you and that bullshit. You say, fuck that. I'm done dealing with this crazy ass, nonchalant ass shit. You just, I'm not finna deal with this irrelevant ass bullshit is what you're telling yourself because you got other shit to be doing and to be focusing on right now. Yeah, because you're strong because you have courage and somebody feeling guilty about a situation. But divine timing is here. Time is of the essence. Something could happen on a Friday. I only wanted the masculine for his money, but I fell in love with him. Now he wants you. Sad and pathetic excuse of a human being, if you ask me. But you're spiritual. And this person did do black magic on a spiritual, um, on a public speaker. You will have stability. They did spell work. Somebody else did spell work. So this is more than one person that's doing work on you. You are mixed with, uh, you, you are mixed with all cultures. And your person is saying you should, they should have listened to their intuition. You stay dedicated. Can we pick up where we left off at? This is what your person is saying. You got the Holy Ghost that's activated within you. I, your person had to learn the hard way and something could have happened eight hours ago. Whew. So I'm going to get some more messages. Let's see. Yeah, remember to keep your eyes on the prize. Use your intuition about these threesomes. Somebody was being gay for pay. It's time It's time to travel the world. So you guys are about to travel real soon. I know you're a jaded love. It's time to let that pain go. So it's time for you to let that pain go. Maybe you need to take a trip, a vacation, go buy some water, and finally, finally release this situation. Something could have happened seven hours ago. And you are the star and the headliner of uh, whatever that you're doing. And I ran away from how I truly feel. Will you please forgive me is what someone's saying. This could happen on a Thursday or will happen on a Thursday. You are balanced. You have balance. I have. I slept with your masculine because I wanted to make you jealous. So he would go karmic ass energy again. And they wonder wondering why they're going through karma. Okay, there you go. Yeah, but you are a major flex collective. And your ex is a fool for setting you up. Your ex, somebody, um, friend is saying that your ex was a fool for setting you up. And you are a chosen one collective. But somebody is going through bad karma. And who's going through bad karma? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces and This could happen six hours ago. Okay. So let's go ahead and finish up these messages and we're going to be done. Don't be a fool. You got hidden knowledge. So don't believe the hype. Hidden knowledge came back out again. And about this proud hoe, you saying rent due motherfucker is over. <laughs> you have to call, you have wrong judgment to a situation. 
And yeah, will I tell y'all divine intervention? <laughs> I said the shit that came right on out. Keep pushing, don't stop. Your your ancestors don't play about you. <laughs> Somebody that's on psychedelic drugs. <laughs> you got the juice. Somebody like to be on that juice. <laughs> but you are into you could be into divinity. And you got the juice to whatever you do. <laughs> yeah, somebody's on cocaine and pills. This could have happened three hours ago. That somebody got kicked the fuck out of somebody's house. Whew, child. Well, that's all the messages I have for you guys today. Um, let me make sure. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this reading and get outside and get set up for this um, for this uh, meditation session. But there is an Aries Leo Sag here. Before we leave that, I'm going to get these messages out. There's an Aries Leo Sag energy here that needs to work on self-love. The karmic took your money. You have been initiated through coordination. You could be one of these um, signs, but there is karmic energy here. And there's a divine masculine and emperor here. And you are loved by the universe. Yeah, but there's a copycat here, doppelganger energy. That's very toxic. But yeah, Maya is protecting you. Oshan is here protecting you. You see past the illusions. You have South American ancestors. The comic doesn't love their self. You are the shit collective. This person says, please forgive me. And one year from now, something will happen. Somebody could have an STD. And this could happen one month ago or will be happening in the near future month. So I'm telling me to... Okay, that's it. Let me, see. Let me just do this and that's it. You are you are a part of the Chinese dynasty. Something could happen on a Saturday. You lose karmic. The sun, the uh, truth has been illuminated. You have self-awareness. I could be talking to a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The moon, these, re these secrets has been revealed. You have courage. And the angels are guiding you. So, guys, that guys, that is all I have for you today. So, whew, I'm glad that we closed this investigation down. We know that there's, um, like I said, there's two karmic energy females. It could be one is your best friend and one is a karmic female that is dealing with your person. Um, that was dealing with your person. And just to get you clarification, let's go ahead and pull the my handy dandy Nefertiti out. Nefertiti, did we just close the case on who these witches are? That's yes. So when it goes um, back and forth, that means yes. When it goes uh, side by side, it means no. So was the witches one male? Can I get a hard yes for um, clarification? It was one male and two karmic females, correct? She's registering now. And two karmic females. One was a best friend, correct? Heart, yes. Thank you. And one was the um, masculine's ex-girlfriend. Yes. Thank you for your confirmations. <laughs> so that's just letting you guys know that, yeah, uh, you may not know them as witches, but they do dark tendencies to try to harm people, hurt people, gossip about people, set people up. So that's witch, uh, dark witch tendencies. So please make sure that you are staying stay safe and um, protected um, and do whatever you have to do by all means necessary, whether it's spiritually or physically to protect yourself from these energies. So I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Nothing but love and light sent your way. I say namaste. Amen. Talk to you soon. Peace.